Welcome back. So we are gonna work on a new project. I have got this oil bath cleaner off of the 56 F100 and I want to make it work with an, a modern air filter. So this guy right here. So I'm going to cut out this whole section because inside here is the old original mesh that I know is just caked with junk and dirt and all that mess. And there's absolutely no way to clean that. These things do not come apart. And I really don't want to, well, I just don't want to have the old system. I don't want the oil in there and I don't want all this old stuff falling through over time because there's hair and all kinds of junk and nastiness in there. So the plan is to cut that off, remove all that inside. This filter sits in real nice and I'm gonna put some little, either a ring or some little stops to keep that centered in there. And then ideally, we'll see how it all works, but once I cut that off, this should sit right over that, leaving basically this much exposed lid on top. And then all the air will be able to be sucked down through, through the filter and then down through the carburetor. So that is the intent. And I'm sure this has been done before, but I haven't seen much on it, so. I'm uh, gonna get to hacking this thing up, see what this looks like inside, underneath all this structure, and then we will go from there. Alright, so we've got the lid cut off, and clearly that's a problem. So, the solution would either be a taller filter, which is doable. So I've got to figure out some way to space inside here. I don't know if I do a plate since, I don't know, I'll figure that out. We're going to see if I can maybe reuse any of this and maybe put this fire out before it burns my building down without me knowing it. So we'll keep this around just in case. I might be able to use some of that, but in the end, it's gonna work. But I might end up, simplest would probably be to find a taller filter, another inch, inch and a half, and then that would get the clearance that it needs to get past the lid and give us a modern filter option without having to deal with this old nastiness. So we'll see what I figure out. So we've got some stuff cut out, but I'm not loving how this is working. My original thought was to elevate the filter, the seal off the bottom, and it technically works. And this does fit. And it does give me the space that I need. If I push it down, I can get the nut on there. However, because this is really thin metal, when I push down, it flexes, and therefore it's going to open up an air gap, which is obviously no bueno. So I think the next thing I'm going to do is widen this hole so that it slips down over this and just sits just inside. And I can use these tabs to keep the air filter centered. And then we're going to play around with using this original piece going to go on top but I'm going to cut these pieces and then take this section out 
is with it on there, it sits too high, but I think if I remove this, I can get it down low enough to grab that and then everything will seal off and then that plate being on the bottom will keep everything from doing this. So I was trying to avoid, but also seal everything off. So I'm gonna try that next. Okay, that actually seems pretty dang perfect. So, plenty of room for the wing nuts, plenty of room to breathe, lid comes off. We're gonna use this cap. The only issue I have are these little gaps right here, but I'm gonna either put some foam on the inside of this just to seal that on top of the filter so that we're not sucking in unfiltered air. And then the filter sits in here, the filter is just small enough that it gets off so that's why I want to either use this to keep it centered with these little tabs that I bent on this plate or I'll just simply put something along the perimeter that will keep the filter in the middle so I think that will work really well and it actually uses old oil bath filter parts and uh, just kind of retrofit and make it work with a new filter so that we can eliminate that old stuff so I think this is actually gonna work pretty well Hey, so I am going to show you how I converted this old oil bath air cleaner into a more modern style air cleaner with uh, a drop-in filter as opposed to dealing with the mess and uh, probably better filtration this way. So I'm gonna walk you through what I did and uh, I was able to actually use all the original air cleaner parts except for three little brackets. So I'm gonna show you what I did and uh, I'm sure there's other variations on things you could do. I even thought of different things, but I didn't have the materials to do it. So I will uh, show you how I did it and then you can take it from there, but it was honestly pretty easy once I figured out what I was gonna do. So I'll show you that. All right, so here is the original setup. Uh, just ignore the little tabs in here for now, but this is the base and how it would be. And that's where the oil went clamped onto this carburetor and hopefully this doesn't fall apart as I try and explain what I did but basically this is the top as it would have been so what I did is I cut around the edge as you can see I just um, rode the guard for my air saw right along the slip and it gave me this little lip that was remaining which I wanted just for rigidity of the top so that it didn't um, you know tweak and bend as it tightened down the nut and so that revealed this guy. So this cone is in the middle. I uh, went underneath and bent all these little, bent the rim off around it so that I could pull that out. And then that lets you pull the old, I guess, horse hair. Not sure what that stuff is. That can come out and you've got a screen that can come out. This piece, don't need it. So all of this stuff goes bye-bye. And then you're left with this piece, which this is how it would have been originally. So what I ended up doing after trial and error was I took the base and I've got my eight and a half inch filter, which seats pretty perfectly. It's just right along that lip that drops down where the oil goes. Took this guy, cut it off. This seats perfectly on there because the main issue I was having is without this piece the lid drops down and it completely seals it off so I needed to elevate the lid so that this thing could breathe so that ended up working out that this fits perfectly over that remove that center ring 
the lid, these little, this little bracket actually fits right in between that hole that we cut out. And then that leaves us the perfect reveal. We've got plenty of airflow in and down all through that filter all the way around. So that works out really well. So the only other thing I have left to do after everything's cleaned and painted is I'm gonna add some foam seal around this edge right here so that it seals to the lid. And then I'm gonna add some foam seal in here so that this guy seals to the filter. Other than that, the only things we added were the three little brackets. They're inside just to help keep that filter centered and not moving around. I just riveted those in. You could weld those, you could glue those. There's probably several other options you could do. So otherwise, this works out pretty dang perfect. And then once everything is compressed with the uh, nut, the uh, wing nut, then everything should seal up and tighten up pretty good. And we'll have a good filter. And so that's on the top side. So the carburetor presented a little bit of an issue because I had to change it. I don't know the name of the two different styles, but this style is the type of carb that has the kind of the, we'll call it a castle collar. It uh, has all these different bumps. The original one had, we'll say a donut. It was kind of a raised portion rounded that this clamp actually clamped onto. So this clamp on the original one was not designed for this style carburetor. So what I did is we do end up, we have a lip here that's on this underside. The only issue is we have this pivot point for the butterfly that gets in the way. So all I did was marked it and I notched it so that that went over those two pivot points and it actually clamps down gets up underneath that lip and holds it really well. So I picked it up, took it and shook it around and made sure it wasn't gonna come off in the vibration of the truck. So when we put it all together, everything works out nicely. And I seem to have misplaced my wing nut. But it is over here somewhere. <clears throat> so with that piece on there, here it is. Wing nut goes on. We are good to go. So, fits real nice. And uh, I like that I have a modern option. I can just run and change a filter out instead of dealing with all that oil and mess. So, that's it. That's how we did it.